What's your favorite game of the decade that you would recommend to others? Of course, there are a lot of good games in this decade. I can't possibly mention all of them. It takes one day of video, so I thought I'd sum it up. These are the 10 best games of the decade 2013 to 2023, which you should play this year. Mandatory for those of you who haven't played it. Let's get started. Deathloop. Deathloop is a first-person shooter video game developed by Arkane Leone and published by Bethesda Softworks. Deathloop is a real achievement. Developer Arkane, the studio famous for crafting intricately detailed and endlessly immersive worlds with Dishonored and Prey, unleashed its most ambitious effort to date in Deathloop. With eight targets to assassinate and one day to do it in, Deathloop is an elaborate murder mystery that makes time itself your most valuable weapon. It's an experience built around gradual progression and observation, where your ability to unpick clues is just as important as your skill at handling any of its punchy firearms. Of course, it helps that the shooting feels pretty great too, a haptic experience that never fails to entertain and impress. A layered and systemic game that takes great delight in keeping you guessing until the very end. Assassin's Creed Valhalla Assassin's Creed Valhalla is an action role-playing video game structured around several main story arcs and numerous optional side missions, called, World Events. The player takes on the role of Ivor Varen's daughter, a Viking raider, as they lead their fellow Vikings against the Anglo-Saxon kingdoms. Ubisoft has delivered with this romp through the Dark Ages, offering players a different iteration of exactly what an Assassin's Creed game can be. There's still plenty of lore to be had for the long-term fans, but at its core is a huge, immersive, and atmospheric world full of people to meet, mysteries to solve, and big decisions to make. You play as Ivor, who can be male or female, who is a fantastic addition to Assassin's Creed canon, who only emphasizes this new stronger, bolder direction for the series. Marvel's Spider-Man Marvel's Spider-Man is a 2018 action-adventure game developed by Insomniac Games and published by Sony Interactive Entertainment. Based on the Marvel Comics character Spider-Man, it tells an original narrative that is inspired by the long-running comic book mythology, while also drawing from various adaptations in other media. One of the best superhero games of all time, Nailing Spidey's freedom of movement and characters in a take so well executed it's now part of official Marvel canon. Insomniac's first venture into a licensed property sees the studio apply its slick movement and world-building to a huge chunk of Spider-Man's New York. As you'd hope, movement is a joy from start to finish, equipping you with a suite of web-swinging abilities that see you hurtling through city streets on a mixture of web lines, skill and hope. When you do actually tackle the story there's a great tale of evil villains, friendship and betrayal filled with warmth, humor and some some surprisingly dark turns. That's all helped by some top-tier animation and performance that brings Paker and Gang alive in a way few games have managed before. Zelda Breath of the Wild Zelda Breath of the Wild is an open-world action-adventure game. Similar to the original 1986 Legend of Zelda, players are given minimal instruction and can explore the open world freely. Zelda Breath of the Wild broke over 20 years of its own game series rules and convention, in favor of gifting its ever-curious player base with a world that kept on delivering. We all became rich with secrets, treasures, and gloriously unceasing to-do lists, always encouraged to see what was over that next hill. Excellent combat gave way to clever puzzles, quests to a remarkable cast of characters, to create a Zelda game that would reinvent the series and push other open-world games to do infinitely better. Titanfall 2. Similar to its predecessor, Titanfall 2 is a first-person shooter where players can control both a pilot and their titans, mecha-style robots that stand roughly 7 to 10 meters tall. For starters there's nothing dumb about the core shooting here, which is slick and quick as anything you've played this generation. Being able to triple wall run down a corridor, 
while lobbing a grenade at a bunch of enemies and headshotting another, before touching down, knees sliding under a low beam, shotgunning another couple of battos, then leaping into your titan. It's feel really really good. His imperative to protect the pilot, not only creates a wonderful bond between you and him, but also makes his increasingly warm communications with you that much more honest and endearing. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt me, me betrothed went to the, woods to see the Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is an action role-playing game with a third-person perspective. <laughs> Players control Geralt of Rivia, a monster slayer known as a Witcher. The Witcher 3's success and popularity is a feat made all the more impressive by the series' relative obscurity up to this sequel. This is a series that went from a PC-only game utilizing BioWare's Aurora engine, and frankly, didn't look or play very well even in its prime, to a multi-platform powerhouse that plays as good as it looks, and it looks really damn good. Dragon Age Inquisition Winner of over 130 Game of the Year awards, Dragon Age Inquisition is a fantastic example of how good the role-playing aspect of an RPG can be. In its expansive open world, you can lead your very own adventure and shape the very fate of the Thetis with your own two hands. From character customization to dialogue options and multiple quest outcomes, you have a say in every aspect of your journey. What really makes it so memorable, though, are the superbly written companions that truly make Thetis feel alive. So this is an elven burial site. Bioshock Infinite. Bioshock Infinite is a first-person shooter video game in the Bioshock series. Bioshock Infinite is set in 1912 and takes place in a floating steampunk city-state in the sky called Columbia, named for the female personification of the United States. Praised since its initial release in the gaming industry, Bioshock has indeed grown to become one of the best FPS game franchises in the gaming industry. Bioshock offers something much deeper. Not only does it pump your adrenaline through its well-designed action gameplay mechanism, Bioshock is also famous for its side of the plot that deserves thumbs up. Entering the realm of psychology and philosophical thinking, Bioshock is still able to wrap it up in a plot that will not only make gamers enjoy, but also keep wondering consistently. Ken Levine and Irrational Games successfully brought back the charm in the series, Bioshock Infinite. Resident Evil 2 Remake Resident Evil 2 is a remake of the 1998 game Resident Evil 2 for PlayStation. Remaking the original Resident Evil 2 was a huge risk and one that Capcom exceeded all expectations on, delivering a horror game every bit as important and influential as the original. Gone are the tank controls, static camera and cardboard dialogue and in their place is a high-budget, contemporary third-person horror survival shooter with a surprisingly stern and glistening sheen of gore. It plays like something modern, from gameplay to guts, but somehow feels like classic Resi thanks to its bizarre puzzles and confidence to keep you crisscrossing its lofty police station halls for most of the game, never quite sure where the next undead threat is going to. Elden Ring Elden Ring is an action role-playing game played in a third-person perspective, with gameplay focusing on combat and exploration. It features elements similar to those found in other games developed by From Software, such as the Dark Souls series, Bloodborne, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. It was inevitable, wasn't it? After years of surmounting speculation and expectations, From Software not only rose to the challenge but delivered what is undoubtedly the best game in its storied history. The studio built masterfully on the foundations it established for Bloodborne, Dark Souls, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice, expanding them into a sprawling, ambitiously structured open world. 
The Lands Between, a playground built of boundless mysteries, has proven itself to be the perfect venue for From Software's precise and demanding combat, where decisive action is rewarded with new and more spectacular encounters, and fresh opportunities to prove you are capable of surviving the gauntlet. Elden Ring is not only the best video game, but a true cultural phenomenon. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you like it and find something new to play. Get more update about games by click subscribe, and your thumbs up mean a lot to me. So please guys, just like this video. Thank you very much I'll see you in the next video.